Hey guys, what's going on? It is Nostalgia Gamer Princess here. Back with Nancy Drew and Tomb of the Lost Queen. Look at all the shit we got done. Um, let's talk to Lily. Because I think we were supposed to ask her something. Like about the, um, what the game pieces mean or something. What up, girl? Hi, Nancy. Oh, there we go. Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? The special squares are the House of Rebirth, the House of Happiness, the House of Three Truths, and the House of Ray Atom. That represents the House of Water. What's the House of Water? In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, the House of Water became a powerful idea. It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. I feel like this is probably going to be important, but... <laughs> I'll let you go. See ya! The sad thing is I don't retain any of this information. Like, it really, like, I hear this and only, like, after looking back on the, um, on the playthrough, do I go, oh yeah, huh, crazy, that's what they said originally. And this happens so often in, like, every single game that I play. Happened in the first Nancy Drew game, too, where I just, I don't know. He's still gone? How long are you gonna be gone for, bro? For fuck's sake. I'm sick and tired of your nonsense. Oh no. Every single time there's a pause, it always scares the hell out of me because I'm always afraid that like something is gonna jump out at me. Nothing over here. Like honestly, if I could just like comprehend more things, I would be unstoppable. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Actually, I wanted to double back really quickly. So I wanted to see if Jamila's there and if I can get access to her handbag. That'd be just awesome sauce. But yeah, I'm doing good. Actually, I'm not doing too good. Um, my job is being really fucking weird. Hello. Thank God. I saw something very strange near the tomb. You did? So I've been working as accounts payable for a while. And I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. The company has gone bankrupt. What? What's the new thing that I'm supposed to be seeing here? Oh. Oh shit. What is this? What is Jamila actually up to? He's right about the location. Who tipped him off? London Crier. TS says rumors of a sale if discovered private market strong. The lost love of Ramses is second by Madeline Stewart. Famed Egyptol just personal quest. England's obsession with Egypt is as old as the empire itself. Perhaps that is why Dr. Abdullah Bakum enjoys such a strong following here in the UK. So I bet he does. While any visit from Bakum would be met with fanfare from the amateur Egyptologist community. This particular visit is sure to go down in history as a first step in what will no doubt be an extraordinary adventure. It would be very foolish to miss this presentation, says Bakum. I, I'm not going to imitate him, sorry. In reference to his upcoming speech at the Royal Academy of Antiquities, I have made a very exciting breakthrough in the search for Nefertari, Egypt's famed lost queen. Those who follow Bakum know he is a cheater and a thief. Know that this claim is worth the buzz it's generating. No Egyptologist can match Bakum in terms of landmark discoveries, and it is unlikely anyone ever will. Search for evidence of outside help may have seen tire tracks. Not sure. I can't scare him out, but maybe I can make the tomb inhabitable. Oh. Well. Okay, cool. Uh. Anyway, so my company has gone bankrupt. Which fucking sucks. Um. Yeah. I don't know. What the fuck? What? How could a mummy just appear like this? Oh, something is very wrong. Oh my god, something is gonna scare the living hell out of me. I know it. I'm about to get a heart attack. I know this. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this at all. No, I want to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to continue this game. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I think there's enough stressful shit going on in my life right now. But yeah, so basically what's happening is um, I'm going to call my friends. 
but yeah, so, um, and he's still gone. I really don't like this. I don't like him anymore. He makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like, I, I don't like him. That's done. I only have three tasks left to go. I'm very uncomfortable. But yeah, so um, I'm in accounts payable right now and our company went bankrupt. Um, and so basically I'm, what we've been told is that we're um, gonna be um, transferred to a new company. And um, I'll be transferred eventually, but first I have to help, like, sort everything out, like, get people, like, or vendors paid, basically, before I get transferred over. But, like, yeah, it's just been a couple of weeks of not doing anything because we don't have money, so we can't pay anyone. And I haven't gotten an offer letter from the other company yet, so I'm basically just, like, in this standstill, and it just, it sucks, so. I feel like I'm in danger. I don't like this. I'm very uncomfortable. Nancy! A mummy showed up out of nowhere. Wait, you mean a mummy wasn't there, but all of a sudden there was a mummy there? Right. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 not good, Nancy. I need to know where it came from. Do you? Because no, you don't. <laughs> you need to stay away from that thing. I agree with her, honestly. I need to go home. Bye-bye. See ya. I'm gonna get killed, and what sucks is, it's like, I know it's just a game. And I know that I can always just replay it, like second chance it, but I just, it makes, no, I'm so uncomfortable and I'm so nervous. I, I'm seriously anxious. Whew. Hello? <laughs> Guess what? Oh my God, I'm so, I'm really, really glad that I don't have like the camera on for this. Like I know that I barely, rarely ever, ever do like camera type playthroughs, but I'm so glad there isn't one right now because I'm stressed beyond belief. Guess what? I found a fake mummy. Gross. Why gross? Well, that means someone had one of those laying around, so gross. <laughs> I love him so much. I'll catch you later. Bye. Can we marry him, please? I love him. I adore him. Hotchkiss help. Ahoy hoy! But yeah, I'm actually really pissed off too because like for the past like two months or so, we haven't been getting paid on time. There's like a month between each payment and a month. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like a week between each payment and um, still haven't been um, paid yet. And I was supposed to get paid last Friday and it is now uh, the next Saturday. So what are you working on now? I found myself quite lost in the South not too long ago. And I must admit that I've got a keen fascination for all things Southern Gothic. Hmm. The cotillions. The manners, the history. I must say, it has given me a case of the intellectual vapors. I love that area. And the food. <gasps> Red eye gravy, shrimp and grits. Do you know that Southerners have 56 words for biscuit? I don't think that's true. Hush, child. I have a delicate constitution and mustn't be contradicted. Oh, Hotchkiss. <laughs> I'll let you go. Goodbye. She's so weird. Oh my god, someone give me comfort. Hi, Nancy. Oh boy. I found a mummy, but something was strange about it. How so? When I opened the coffin the first time, it was empty. But when I came back, it wasn't. That's bad. What are you thinking? That I need to be there. When things disappear, that's theft. When things appear, that usually means someone is staging the site. Which means that the black market is involved. But how could anyone else be involved? We're in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of money in the antiquities black market. Very often, money attracts dangerous characters. Jamal is calling Abdullah as thief. And Abdullah did a check on Jamila. So here's my small little theory. My small little theory is that, like, so Abdullah is obviously, like, pissed off at Lily or whatever and, like, doesn't, like, like her or anything like that. And everyone's just like, why the hell did he hire her? Like, especially given her history. I have a weird feeling that, like, yeah, the two of them are involved. Like, okay, so I think I said this from the very beginning where I think like Abdullah's our guy because like he and like John have always like butted heads or whatever so I think Abdullah's our guy 
and I think Lily is in leagues with him. However, I think like she he basically knew about her stuff and like knew that she was probably wanting to prove herself. So that's why he's just like, oh, well, like, if I take her on, then she's going to do anything that I ask her to. And, like, that whole argument that happened between the two of them, I feel like that was, like, one of his ways of kind of sort of, like, keeping her on his, like, her toes so that he can basically keep ordering her around and do stuff that, like, he does, like, she she might not want to do or might not know that she shouldn't be doing. That's what my guess is. Have you heard of the daughters of Nefertari? Yes. But I'm surprised that you have. What do you mean? It's lore. And not popular lore at that. Where'd you hear about it? I don't even know. It was mentioned in an old journal I found. This is amazing. We're on the right track. We must be. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. You still didn't answer my question. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Supposedly, they're searching for Nefertari too. But that's all I know. I wasn't even sure if they were real. I have no idea what the hell Nancy's talking about. I'll catch you later. Bye. What notes? Am I crazy? I didn't see any notes about the daughters of Nefertari. Where are we on hints? Hints, <laughs> hints is nothing. That's great. I'm getting a chill, man. I'm not happy. Journal. Oh. Have I even read this? Where did this come from? Oh, this is where the birds thing was. I don't even know where this came from. Okay, I read this part. I remember that. Let me... Alright, so December 8th. These last 10 years since my search began, I followed every lead, only to find myself lost and lost lost again and again all hope of finding the lost queen vanished only searing sand at my feet i owe it to my mother's memory to find her soon i owe it to my daughter and my husband to return home alive i'm worried that i'll be disappointing them all december 16th this morning just as i was stealing myself for another fruitless day of searching we spotted something curious jutting out of the sand a quick glance and we knew that there was nothing natural about the formation this was a tomb we set to work immediately bloody knuckles and aching backs unnoticed and untended in the excitement by mid-morning, we had broken through the sealed entrance. The largest guide pushed past Sudi to be the first to enter the tomb. He was a fool to blunder in as he did. There was no doubt about that. Still, he did not deserve to die for that foolishness. Oh, I do not hear him call out. I hope for his sake he wasn't alive long enough to try. December 20th. We huddled in the dark. The wind howls outside. Since we have opened the tomb, the desert has become even less forgiving than usual. Violent sandstorms rise from nowhere, forcing us into the darkness of the tomb. The men have been mumbling to each other, of curses. Fair enough. <laughs> I say that all the time. Already we've lost one member of our team and most of our gear. I cannot waste what little lamp oil we now have to write for for long. December 23rd. I know the queen is here. This morning the storms died and we were able to clear an opening large enough to let the light in. Dusted beams of the sun shattered the turgid darkness of the tomb for the first time in thousands of years. The color of the tomb, it was just like you said it would be. Brilliant white walls studded with gold gods <laughs> god their face is bright as gems i cannot believe that this has been unknown since the time of ramses ii at least i hope it was he who built this tomb i hope to be relieved of this burden of the d-o-n soon daughters of nefetari i'm guessing eight birds amongst a golden flock revealed the hidden way eight birds amongst a hunting scene revealed the hidden order held in the paws roosting in the reeds soaring on colored wings perched high on the boat Caught in the jaws, flying above the reeds, standing in the boat, waiting in the water. I'm so glad that I just cheated because I would have not been able to figure this shit out. I think I read this part. Um, we lost two men last night. This is December 30th. I cannot be sure, but I suspect cobras. I feel like I read this. The tomb is thick with hidden dangers and it's getting worse. Three men so far lost in the expedition. The rest are afraid they'll be the next to die. By now, we should have found the queen. We should have found her mummy. We've only found confusion and death. I'm in a world with backwards rules I could never understand, and a tomb built to drag me down into the underworld by any means. I do not feel brave here as I did when our journey began. I feel like a lost little girl toying with something that she does not ex understand. Yeah, I feel like I've already read this. January 6th. So it's foolish, foolish to say it's reckless to be here alone, but I can't return home having been this close. How many lifetimes have been cut short searching for the queen? It is worse than that. If I cannot find her, if I die out here, I know my daughter will find the letter 
I wrote for her. I know she will throw her life away on this foolish quest too. Nefertari is lost forever, and I no longer care. I will gather my supplies. I will find my way home, and I will destroy the letter before my daughter reads it. What if the daughter is Lily? Ooh. I'm being punished for my lack of faith. That must be why this is happening. Something caught my eye as I was gathering the last bits of gear. The mark. It's throughout the tomb. These lines I had assumed were from the Book of the Dead are much more than that. I am at the point where that matters little now. Sudi returned fevered and delirious, telling me the whole expedition team fell ill on their trip home. One by one, they died. Shivering under the desert sun, Sudi was the last alive. I have no idea how he found his way back. I wish he hadn't. I've given him most of my water. I know he won't last the night, but I can't watch him suffer. Now I don't have enough water for the trip home. January 10th. Set out to find water. Found none. A day after I laid Sudi to rest, another storm swept down on the tomb, the entrance again sealed by the restless sand. I began to feel a chill settle over my bones. How long until I find myself next to Sudi? A few hours? A day? It doesn't matter. No matter the answer, it will be too short and too long all at once. Ooh. January 14th. I cannot push my way out through the sand. The fever and de dehydration have left me slow and weak. I know there is a second exit. It's hidden, perhaps too cleverly for someone in my current state. I have located the first half needed, but without the second part, I am unable to figure out its meaning. Five stand guard at each pass, four false, one true. The first truth is last, the second is fourth, the third is third, the fourth is first. This is gonna fuck me. January 16th. I cannot think. What good is an escape that lies hidden? The queen is laughing at me. January 20th. There is no point writing more. These thoughts will never leave this tomb. If you are reading these pages, it's too late for you. You're in her tomb. She'll never let you leave. Jesus, I need to go the fuck home. Let's talk to Lily.